My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 23 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at vein diagrams. Vein diagrams. Vein diagrams are diagrams we use to represent cells. It usually have the universal set and a set of circles, depending on the number of sets. Jam requires you to know how to draw Venn diagrams for two sets and for three sets. For two sets, the Venn diagram looks like this. The big boss represents the universal set, the total values present in all the sets. Now, the first part of the set, let's call this set A and let's call this set B. If set A represent things that swim and set B represent things that jump. This part here will represent things that swim and also jump. This is A intersection B. So we can call here set A, set B, A intersection B. What is common between A and B? For three sets, Let's call this universal set, let's call this set A, let's call this set B, and let's call this set C. If set A represents things that jump, and set B represents things that are mamas, and set C represents things that swim, between A and B, this part we simply represent things that jump and swim, which means things that are similar between A and B. We can say frog as an example. If B and C, this part of B and C, represent things that are mammals and also swim. Example, otters. The part close to A and B, this part, this part, represent things that are here and also here, which is things that jump and are also mammals. We can say rabbits. This last part, single part, represent things that have all the characters that do everything. So it will represent things that jump things that swim, and things that are mammals. Mathematically, we can call this part, if here is set Y, and here is set S, and here is set Z, this part between Y and S is simply S intersection Y, the thing that is common between S and Y. Now, between this S and Z here is S intersection Z, what is common between S and Z? Between here and here, Y and Z, here is simply Y intersection Z. What is common between Y and Z? And this middle inside here will simply be S intersection Y intersection Z. What is common between S, Y, and Z? This is basically the diagram. Now, how about a question comes? That requires you to draw Venn diagram or that requires you to use Venn diagram to solve. In jam mathematics, most times you will not be asked to draw Venn diagram as part of the questions. However, majority of the questions require you to draw Venn diagram in your rough note, then bring out the values and solve to get the answer. Now look at questions like this. 
In the class of 42 students, each offer at least one of math and physics. If 22 offers physics and 28 students offer mathematics, find how many students offer physics only. If you look at this question carefully, you will see that we are dealing with two sets, set of those offering maths and those offering physics. Since we are dealing with two sets, we need to represent this in Venn diagram for better understanding. Yes. So for two sets, the Venn diagram is fixed. You have something like this, one here and one here. And here is your universal set. We are told that in the class of 42 students, 42 is simply the universal set. That is the set that contains every other set. So the total number is the universal set. And that will be your 42 here. Since we are dealing with two sets, let here be mathematics M. Let here be physics P. 22 offer physics. So physics. Okay, let's say physics. 20, 22. Let's just do that for now. And mathematics. 28. How many students offer physics only? How many students offer physics only? We know that here represents intersection. Those who offer both the subject. So let those who offer both mathematics and physics be S. Now you ask your question. In this S, we have those who offer both physics and mathematics. To get the number of those who offer physics only, we need to find out those who offer both physics and mathematics and subtract that number from those who offer physics only. Now, look at a cheat or a smart way to do things like this. Here, yeah, we know that S represents those who offer both subjects, mathematics and physics. And 28 represents those who offer mathematics and who still offer physics inside. This 22 represent those who offer physics and still offer mathematics. The ones who offer mathematics only will simply be 28 minus those who offer both subjects. The ones who offer physics only will simply be 22 minus those who offer both physics and math. That is minus S. So here, yeah, food is ready. We know that if we add those who offer only mathematics to those who offer both math and physics plus those who offer physics only, everything will give us 42 because this is the universal set. Therefore, 28 minus S plus S plus 22 minus S, everything should give us 42. So, this is 28 minus S plus S plus 22 minus S is equals 42. Collecting like terms, if I take minus S to the other side and I bring 42 to this side, I will simply have 50 minus 42 is equals S. Therefore, 8 is equals S and S is equals 8. Those who offer both subjects is 8. If we are asked for those who offer both subjects, we will happily say 8. But we are not asked. We need those who offer physics only. And that is simply 22 minus S, which is 22 minus 8. And 22 minus 8, if I am very, very correct, is that 14? Yes, that is 14. So that is how to answer questions like this. Ladies and gentlemen, 
See you in the next episode where we shall look at Venn diagram for three sets and a typical question. I hope you found this helpful. Get your Flash Learner Jam app and begin to play with questions. See ya.